what we do is we set up a double broiler, which means I've got a pot with water. I'm going to put something in the bottom of that pot to make sure that the pot I put my oils in does not touch the bottom of the direct heat. And then you have another container, another pot that you're going to stick on that lid you just dropped in there. And we're going to have our heat on a very low and we're just, we're just going to slowly use this warmth to help the oil absorb the goodness from our chamomile and our calendula. Depends on how you say it. I say it wrong every time. But in any case, so I'm going to put my pot there. Well, actually, I probably should just put it over here. I'm going to dump in my oil. And then we're just going to put our herbs right into that oil. Okay, we're going to add the calendula. Okay, so in total we've got about two cups of avocado oil, one cup of calendula, and one cup of chamomile. And I've got it all into my pot here. As you can see, it's pretty full. And now we're going to stick that right on top of that lid there in the water. We've got our pot on low. We're gonna let this cook probably for about four or five hours until um, it looks like it's really been absorbed. You'll notice that the herbs kinda cook down into the oil. You'll see the difference. All right, we're about an hour in. I'm just slowly cooking away. You always want to keep an eye on your double broiler and make sure that it doesn't need more water. Right, we've got pretty much water in there. We're okay, but I always keep a cup of water right there by in case I need it. Don't mind my mess on the stove. I still haven't cleaned up the slop I made. <laughs> it's been just, just under four hours. And to me, it looks pretty good. I don't know if you can see. Let's get you closer. This oil, it's got a nice color to it. The chamomile and the calendula. You can hear that straw-like sound when you're going through. And that's just telling you that those herbs have been used up. So that's a good sign that your oil is ready. So we're going to take this off the broiler and we are going to strain it. All right, we got our little strainer and I'm gonna put a line of cheesecloth in here to catch the little particles. And we're gonna go ahead and just put it in there. As you get to the end, you kind of pick up your cheesecloth and squeeze it out. There is a lot of oil in the uh, herbs yet. You don't want to go let it go to waste. 